Hi family. Hey everyone. Tanya here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I just want to share with you some, I was decluttering my home, so I'm donating these items to a domestic violence shelter. And this is inventory from my business, from my gift basket business. And I was just going through looking for Easter stuff. But then halfway through my project, I got a call and uh, it was a domestic violence shelter asking uh, for, a do for a donation. So I'm like, I'm not, I can sell these things, but I don't want to. And I am more excited to donate this. And they told me all the things that they, that they needed. I have it. And I'm just happy knowing that I can donate these things and they will be of good use and they're good items. So I'm, today I'm just sharing with you everything that's new and that's like it been in the box, never been used and still tagged on. Okay, and a lot of you guys uh, in the gift basket community have seen these things, uh, you know, during uh, hidden clearances at Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar General, and even some of these things came from Kroger. Okay, so first I got, like last year this time, right after Easter, I got these sets here from Kroger. They were like 50, 54 cents for a brush set. Crayola, let me see how many, 16 pack Crayola crayons, 30 cents. And uh, 81 cents for these Crayola markers. They said they needed uh, household stuff, stuff for children, uh, self-care items, anything. So then I got these acrylic paint pots. These were 54 cents. And a coloring book. So these have never been used. And I will not be like re 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 upping my Easter stuff. You know, all this stuff that I'm donating, you know, I'm 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 done with it. I don't like a cluttered house. I could sell, I sold a lot of this and I still had a lot left. And I think it can be a blessing to someone else. So that was right on time. That was God saying, you know, because as I was purging things and going through things. I'm like, what am I going? Am I going to sell this this year? And uh, that man called me, and normally I don't pick up that phone either. And I said, yes. I said, what do y'all need? Okay, so I have these. Uh, what is this? Uh, Paw Patrol. Um, what is it? Toothbrush. Put that over here. Then I got some sidewalk chalk. These were so cute from last year. 41 cents Crayola. So I think this would be a good time because at least, you know, if someone's in the shelter during this time, they can, you know, get some Easter gifts and stuff. And then got this gift set. I never sold this one. I sold another one. And I'm finally getting through all of these it's like i'm not going to sell the rest of these these are good until april but they'll be good until as long as they're not open they're fine these are nice though so i'm gonna donate that and then these face mask kit a good haul for me uh, during domestic violence month in October. I gave them a lot too. So and then a family dollar had a lot of their cutlery and stuff for 25 cents and 10 cents. I uh, you know, I still have a lot of this. I'm going to keep a lot for myself and I'm sharing. So I'm going to like give they got four knife like a chef knife 
four paring knives. What are these? And then these. So I have four packs of those. So I'm going to spread the love on that. I think someone can use those. Got these really inexpensively. These are nice, but I use the caddy part for my uh, like craft stuff, my heat gun and things like that. But this is has never been used. So, so I want to donate stuff like that. Let's get around over here. Get to the children's stuff. Uh, anyone that's been following me, they saw this haul about a year ago. So I have a couple of these left. Could I sell them? Yes. Do I want to? No, I'd rather donate because I know people in my neighborhood are in need, somebody close to me. So this is the princess, Disney princess hat, glove set. We got the Paw Patrol hat and mitten set. These are still cute to me. These little hats, little, what is that? Unicorn. Two of these. Oh, let me get my tea. Okay, guys, it's early in the morning and I uh, had to get my tea, get my day started. I have a stuff in this bag here, but I think I left off. I was showing you the hat and glove set, the unicorn. So I have hats for the kids. I had a nice haul and then these little ear muffs and gloves. They'll have these, the shelter can have these for next year. know if you guys know that if you have your business like like if you're a gift basket designer and your business you can write off your donations or any donations and I hope you guys like are are tracking your mileage you know because this is tax season so it, that, that just came to my mind so if you um you know track your mileage when you're going shopping going to these stores, you know, that's business. Okay, you donating things on behalf of your business, make sure you, you know, you get a receipt from the charity. And like, like what I'm doing now, um, you know, make a record, a video record of what you're donating. Okay, so I got these puzzles. This may not be no thousands, of, but over the years, I've donated thousands of dollars in uh, products and stuff. So we have some Disney princess puzzles here and a couple of Paw, Paw Patrol. I don't feel, I don't want to sell these. Uh, tissues. So they have a nice little set. They have a nice set. Got their little things here. And I also have a toothbrush over there. So, you know, in the shelter, they have some cute things get you over the hump. Uh, bath bomb. I think I have a Barbie, Barbie uh, you know, tissue set. Uh, toothbrush. These are things you need all the time. And here's a bunch of plushies. Types are so cute. They're going to the shelter. Okay, let's see. We showed you all of that. Let's see what I have in here. Now these were like for adult hats. Two pump tags still on them. So you know, these people aren't getting used and abused stuff. They're already being used and abused. Last thing you want to donate is 
useless stuff. There's another. This one has a head wrap and the uh, and the uh, hat. We want to keep things as neat as possible. We got some scarves. Never been used. I'm gonna get them some good stuff. Got a headband, head wrap. What do they call it? It's head wrap. Another. I was really liking this gray. I would have kept one of these if my head's too big. Does anyone remember when I did a haul on this? I kept one. I like these. This little poncho here. Okay, so that's going. Never too wrapped up, so I'm going to put all the clothes together. I've got a big black bag here. Put all the clothes together. The soft stuff. Last year I got these. These sets here, these are pajama sets. I kept the ones in my size. I'm going to donate the ones that aren't in my size. I got two of those. And then here are just some photo albums. these. I have these baby fat scarves, fat farm scarves. I like them. I love this color. I got, I got a couple for me. I'm sharing. And then we got these small backpacks. I'm donating three of those and then a fat farm backpack. useful to somebody. And everything is unused. I'm going to put all the soft stuff. So we got one bag down. Dishes, dishes that they're already packed up, so I'm not going to show that. And then I've had this. I had this in the back of my closet. I didn't know what was in there, but I did a couple of uh, like diaper cakes. So these were left. Let me bring you guys over here. So I had some They've never been used or anything. Yeah. Let me sit down. Let me sit down and sort through this box together. So just want to share with you some ideas. If you're thinking about it, you know, this might be a good time to go on and spread the love. Okay, we got the little washcloths. Bib. None of this stuff has been used at all. Socks. These are so cute. Some more washcloths. Cotton swabs. Uh, a 
say uh, early on, it's when a lot of women start getting abused you know, early on once they bring a child into the world and you know it's a lot of stress for everybody. And so I know it's stressful for mom, stressful for baby, stressful for dad too. So it's uh, unfortunate. Here's a burnt cloth. He's so cute. Some more little socks. Got a little headband. A lot of socks. Let me sit better than that. Okay, let's see. Isn't that a cute little unicorn burnt, uh, hooded towel? More socks. These are, yeah, baby socks. Baby. That's what it's selling it. Baby. B E B E. Baby. Burp, burp cloth. Have some bottles here. These are Disney. This is a Minnie Mouse and a Mickey Mouse bottle. These are some favorite baby shower favors. Here's another pack of uh, diapers here. Got some Fisher Price fragrance free baby wipes. Bibs, hooded towels, and uh, washcloths. And we have the garbage bags and some baby lotion. Okay, so yeah, that's that's a lot. That's it. Yeah, guys. So I just wanted to share that with you, like. Donations are tax deductible. You could be a blessing to someone else. You can clear out your home. Uh, you're like, I'm not going to be really focusing on like selling gift baskets for children or anything. So I won't be like rebuying stuff like this. I'm more, I do better with my handmade items, you know, uh, baby items, crocheting blankets and little layettes and things like that. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you my donation haul and uh, inspire my fellow crafters and gift basket designers to, uh, you know, see how you can assist somebody else if you don't want to sell it. You know, you know, we get tired of all that stuff. The fun of it and what I love about gift baskets, I love the thrill of the hunt. I love getting things on a bargain, especially during Where's my, especially during uh, COVID when, during COVID, when there was, you know, things were in short supply and you like, we were able to get out there and still get stuff, you know, and I just never wanted to be shorthanded, you know, cause you know, supply, supply chain issues can happen at any time. You know, we still have power outages. You see our, our the internet will go down. So there are times when, you know, you have to stock up. But, you know, I was like, there are other people out there that couldn't get anything. And I don't need any of this. So, you know, so this is, will help both of us. Okay, guys. So just I'm just rambling now. Okay, guys. So I just want to thank you so much for tuning in today and all of your support over the years into this channel. Uh, we're all about living tastefully for less. We're about being posh. That means professional, organized, savvy, and honest. That's one of the definitions of posh. And uh, so if you're a 